Well, good morning, people. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, Raymond. Just leaving the hotel. We didn't do much filming last night, so... <laughs> we um, mess up with uh, Ray's brother. And let's just say, it's a, it's a bit sore this morning. <laughs> we, uh, we went out for a curry last night, didn't we? And uh, had a couple of beers. Maybe perhaps one too many. Yeah, to be honest with you. But it's a lo lovely little town, this place. That yeah, was alright. Lovely place. Uh, curry, uh, curry House just down that road there. This is a two minute walk from the hotel. And then we went back and had a couple of beers in the hotel. And then uh, somebody thought it'd be a good idea uh, to order a, a, a scotch. I don't know who that was, Ray, do you? Anyway, so was a, a, a rum landed in Ray's lap. Well, not on his lap, you know, on the table. And uh, she poured me a whiskey. Instead of putting ice in it, she put another whiskey in it. <laughs> so we've got a busy day. There is going to be part of it... Um, which we might be on roads that either dual carriageways or bits of motorways, so we're not going to bother filming that bit. But hopefully there are going to be some nice roads in the process. So yeah, we've got another pack day for you folks. Um, we, do, we hope the weather's going to, you know, at least, at least stay dry. Anyway, I'm going to get some fuel. We shall catch you in a bit. I won't go in that one though, right? Well, good morning, folks. We're in a little town called Porlock. About to start the uh, infamous Porlock Hill. Ray's done this years ago in a car. I've not done it on a bike before, so... Just pulled over, clean lenses. And get them to the next stage. Um, at the car park, turn left. And then there's a sign in the village that says Porlock Hill. No, we're just about to go and do it now. In a car, about 30 years ago. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind if I drop the bike. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> Hi. No, you'll be all right, I think. I, I reckon it's steep, but I think it's all right. You've got to do it, haven't you? Yeah. Well, folks, let's go and uh, do this Porlock Hill. Are they doing it on those little ones, are they? Uh, to the head of us. <laughs> <laughs> There's an exit from the car park here. Oh, God. <laughs> nice little town, mate, isn't it? It is, isn't it? I want to be in front of that bus, I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah, because if he's going up there, mate. Yeah. We follow this road round to the left. Right, okay. 
What a lovely, lovely little village this is. There we go, here's the sign. Okay. Warlock Hill. One in four uphill. Quarter of a mile, eh? Let's go. Yeah, I did this on a an old school car. Oh, did you? Yeah, it was ten years old when I had it, and I did this thirty years ago at least. So, yeah, we're talking about car with forty years worth of development has been going on. Um. So it should be easier for everybody now. Yeah, this modern technology and what have you, mate, yeah. Yeah, I'm not counting on it, but it should be. That was alright. Bit of a nasty turn, but it was okay. We've got to go wide here, have we? I would say so. No more difficult than anything else we've done. No, it isn't, mate. No, it's just it's 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 the not knowing, isn't it? Yeah. Wonder how they got on on their little bike. Too hot. I know. I did say that though. You can't knock those little engines, mate. No, you can't. And in all honesty, I think it's really good that they're doing what they're doing. Well, folks, yeah, we're on Pollock Hill. A couple of little switchbacks up to now, mate, haven't they? Yeah. That was a nice hairpin, that, you know. It was very, very steep. It was steep, but it was flat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. And it wasn't really a uh, Stelvio hairpin. No, you can go around It was a hairpin, and yeah. it was steep. But doable. Well, this is nice, folks, isn't it? Look at that. Nice, mate. The nice view is up, up here as well, isn't there's it? There's the coast, isn't it? It's yep, lovely. there's Wales over there. Is that Wales over there, is it? Yep. Just about to see it. That's the Bristol Channel down there, I think. Yeah. It's not the English Channel, Paul, that's different. Yeah, because we're in Bristol. <laughs> is that an old AA phone there? It is, isn't it? <laughs> it is, yeah. God. Lovely. You, lovely, cracking, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful, mate. Gorgeous views though, right? it's worth coming up to look at just to see that, isn't it? Just to see all of this, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Is that a hawk there, is it? Something or? Yeah. Oh, this is a lovely road, this, right? It is, isn't it? Yeah. So I'll do this one again, mate. Right, we've got a one in four gradient at the bottom and I don't know anything about this one. That's alright, mate. The going down's the easy part, it's the coming up, mate, is the hard part. Oh, well, I don't know about that. I sometimes find getting down harder than getting up. <laughs> I, 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 I'm trying to contain myself, mate. Radiant, one in four at the bottom. Right, okay. Oh, that's a lovely view, that, mate. Look at this. Look at it. Oh, mate, that's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. Ah, beautiful. I know where the one in four is going to be. Do you? It's going to be right the way down there. Yeah. Oh, mate, that's amazing, isn't it? Well, that, yeah. folks. The town over there. That looks absolutely fantastic, doesn't that's it? It's beautiful, mate, isn't it?
as I say, it's difficult to, you know, remember the fact that we've got some lovely countryside in this country. We have. And we never explored it, you know. Right, what do you want to do? Go and grab a coffee somewhere if you want, mate. Yeah, somewhere along that main street. Yeah, if you want, we'll get in. Yeah, we'll turn There's a car park there over there, mate. Where? To the left. Car park to the yeah, left. Yeah, I see it. Okay. My cafe. Yeah. Lynmouth Hill. In fact, if anything, I think the other, the other way is the harder way. That looks quite easy that way, doesn't it? The doors are straight up, isn't it? Yeah. Microphone on. <laughs> See what I've got to put up with, folks. Two weeks of this. You have to go and park that coach there, didn't you? I know. I'm right there. Anyway, we're going to go and uh, grab a coffee now, aren't we? And, uh, yeah. Have a five, ten minute break. And then, uh, back on again. Well, Raymond, that was a nice cup of coffee, that was. Nice. I had tea. Oh, you had a cup of tea, didn't you? Yeah. I all did, right. yeah. That's nice. Nice place. It's all right, but isn't it? <laughs> I think you're right, mate. It doesn't no matter which way we go, we're going to have to go up a big hill. <laughs> we are. Whichever way. It makes no difference. No. Um, I don't know which way it's going to send us, in all honesty. No. Um, but we have got 140 miles <sighs> to get to Land's End. Yeah. It says half three we'll get there, but I'll tell you what, we'll be later than that. I, I think so, mate. And then we've still got to get back to Plymouth. And let's get going. We're going back the same way? No. Oh, going up there? Yeah. The only reason I asked is because you were indicating right and you've gone straight on. Ah, okay. Like. That's because I hadn't switched off. Here we go, Raymond. Yep. Here's another one. Straight on. Yep. It saved us that really rather tight turn, didn't it? It did, mate. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I didn't fancy that, to be fair, mate. I saw that. No, I was looking at that and I was thinking, oh, my God. Yeah. I don't want to do that. That's oh, a nice enough run there, mate, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's another nice, nice campsite, Paul. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. What's up? No, it's nice, lovely. Yeah. It's good riding, isn't it? Yeah, it is, mate, yeah. It is really good riding. Those cameras won't pick up how steep those roads were, though. No, they won't. Always flatten them off, don't they? Yeah, they do. It's because you're you're riding parallel to the road surface, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I hope I am. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you don't, you're off. That took us two hours to do 43 miles. I know it's ridiculous, mate, isn't it? Yeah. Well, actually, it's taken us nearly. What time do we leave? About half nine. 
Yeah. One half nine, yeah. Yeah, we've been two hours, 45 minutes. Yeah. To do 44 miles. They are nice roads though, mate. Yeah, they are. I think it's going to take us along the coast road anyway, you know, right? I, I suspect it's going to do that. But I think the route I'd picked was literally along the coast, you know? Yeah. And I'm thinking, well, it took us a long time to get to where we did get to this morning, so we'll have to update the plan. But it is only a plan when we set off. It's not, I wouldn't want to say this is what we must do. All we need to do is be at the hotel tonight. fantastic riding this morning. Time was pushing on because when we did Porlock Hill it took us longer than what we thought. So anyway, the aim was to pick up the motorway, head down into Plymouth, cross the bridge and then head down towards Land's End uh, this afternoon. Due to get there for about three, a couple of pickies, quick, quick coffee, quick get stop. So anyway, because long story short, it started hammering it down on the M5 by the time we got to the A38 you couldn't see six, eight feet in front of me was that bad, spray up the roads, etc. It was getting dangerous, so we, we pulled in about ten miles outside Plymouth. And we made a decision just to, let's just forget about Land's End today, get to the hotel. Checked into the hotel, luckily they let us check in early. Uh, these Premier Inns are four o'clock check-ins and we arrived in about half two. <laughs> so yeah, we, we managed to get checked in, she let us in. So we're going to go and have an early tea. Beers now and chill out, relax. Early start tomorrow, we'll do the land's end in the morning and then we'll then head across to our next destination tomorrow. But yeah, been a good day, just the last couple of hours were just torrential rain. But it, it wasn't nice. None of the gear that he wore, so thank goodness the dinghies, the dry stuff's fantastic. So yeah, we're okay with dry in that sense, but it, it was, it was getting, it was getting horrendous, getting absolutely horrendous towards the end. So we made a, made a decision. Anyway, on that note, catch you tomorrow. Good morning folks, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Join us on a very, very, very damp, miserable morning in Plymouth. Um, I'm, when I say miserable, I mean miserable. It's that blooming fine stuff, it soaks you. <laughs> Isn't it, Ray? Yeah, it's my horrible. fat man's doing really silly things here. 330 yards of left turn. Oh, it's okay. Oh, yeah. Right. Let's go, let's come on the road. Yeah, so morning folks, yeah, we're uh, heading off down to Land's End this morning. We should have done this yesterday. Um, but the, it was just atrocious, the weather. So anyway, cut a long story short, we're doing it today. And it's not much bloody better now. Everything seems so much harder. When you look at the weather and you think, I've got to do 180 miles just to get back to where I am now, and it's going to be like this. Yeah. So we won't be doing much filming this morning, guys. Uh, it is. It really is grim. So let's. Uh, we'll probably turn cameras off for a bit. In fact, I'm actually tempted to take mine off completely. And. Uh, yeah. I'm toying with the idea because of this miserable weather. 
it'll get into the ghost desk, won't it? Over yeah. The distance yeah, they, 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 are war, they are waterproof, mate, but you know, it's... Uh, yeah. I haven't got that full waterproof hatch on, though, have we? We've got that one that with the, the openings in it. Yeah. So yeah, folks, the plan today is we're going to ride down to uh, Land's End. And then in about a week's time, we'll be at John O'Groats. Yeah. So fingers crossed. We'll uh, get some good footage for you, but sadly at the moment, there's not a great deal to... Uh, You're still there, because I can't see you. Great deal to film. I don't know where Ray Mundo is. Oh, there he is. I'm up here. Everything disconnected for a while. You all right? Yeah, mate. Once we get going, mate, it's not too bad, is it? This fine stuff well, will uh, come off. It's, so. whether it gets, it's whether it gets through, isn't it? And yeah. Although, to be fairly honest, although I feel a little bit moist, yeah. I think I've been sweating. So it's, it's not the rain that's got through, you see what I mean? Well done. Yep. Right, folks, so the plan now is, I'm f sorry, but we're going to have to turn the footage off for a bit. Probably for quite a bit. I don't want to uh, have the cameras getting wet in this rain, so anyway, we'll catch you in a bit, guys. Yeah, bad enough of getting wet. There he is, Deputy Dog. Now we're heading across and heading up north, aren't we? We are. Uh, well, yeah, we're heading along the down coast. There he is, Deputy Dog. This is it, Land's End. That was an absolute rip off this, wasn't it? That was a rip-off. Very nice, but a rip-off. Look at that, folks. Hang dance. Hello, sir. How are you? How are you doing? Right, Knackered. I'm just going to clear all the waypoints off this <sighs> and see what it says about uh, our arrival time. Okay. Well, folks, we've uh, we've had to sack a couple of things off today, haven't we? Yeah, it's, it's been a um, tough day. The weather's closing in again. I wanted to have a photograph of Chesil Beach, but in this weather, you won't see it. No. Um, and. We've already done, let's see, 120, 130 miles today. 145. Yeah. Today. Um, what time is it? 20 past one. Yeah. We said we're going to get the hotel about half five, six ish, well, somewhere around there. Let's see what this says, but if we take all of the uh, all the waypoints out and we don't go down to Chesil Beach, then we might get there at a more reasonable time. Yeah, yeah. We're struggling if you a look bit. at that, the, the rain's coming in. It is, mate. Yeah. By the time we get level with Plymouth, 
Yeah. yeah, we're not even level with Plymouth yet, are we? No. <laughs> no, we're not. We've still got another... another 45 miles to Plymouth. Have we? Yeah. So it's good, yeah. Well, to be fair, we are taking a different route now than we, we did on the way out. Yeah, I don't remember we this. we don't actually have to go down to Plymouth, do we? We can just go straight across. Straight across it, yeah. yeah. So it will be a little bit different. Yeah. Right. Well, the bikes are doing better than what we are. <laughs> oh, I've just had a nice little kip down there. Yeah. So, we've got all the winter stuff back out, all the water. I haven't got my waterproofs on, but... I'm going to put all the cameras back, because when we go through that lot... Yeah. Yeah, we've from sorry guys, we've not done much filming today because it's uh it's not, not been a great deal to see, has it? Not really. <laughs> so we'll try and do some filming later on if it if it dries up a little bit. It's uh, one of those things, Paul, because if you think about it, yesterday we weren't gonna get to Land's End in that weather. No, it was it's horrendous, mate, uh, wasn't it? There was no hope of it, so we did the right thing and cancelled going there yesterday. Yeah. Which means we had to make it up today and it, it just changes things, doesn't it? It does not yeah. See if we've got. So, oh, anyway, we're gonna gonna um, um, filming for now. Lost words, I, I'm, I'm completely lost for words because we're both tired. So we're gonna end filming for now. Uh, I'm gonna try and do some filming later. And get some nice roads. But at the moment, we're just we're, we're just on motorways, aren't we? So it's pointless. It's pointless really filming anything. So anyway, guys, we'll catch you in a bit. Give you an update in an hour or so. What do you reckon? Uh, now, next stop, it'll be. Uh, another, give another 60 miles, we'll pull up again. <laughs> another 60 miles, I don't think I'll, I'll be able to go there. Another 60, another 60. Yeah, I, I couldn't do 100, mate, no. no. Um, anyway, we'll see you later. Hi, right, folks. Uh, we're in Wiltshire. Not done much filming today. Because it's been hammering it down. We went for a real massive um, rainstorm earlier. Really bad, actually. We've done quite a few rainstorms today, we've haven't we? have had a few today. Real few bad ones, so... We've... Um, Yes, it's been pretty bad to be honest with you. Terrible days worth of weather. We actually put the cameras away at one point completely because it was that bad. Anyway, so we're not, we've just passed the Haynes Museum, which is in Sparkford, so we're just outside Yeovil. Um, so across the border to Wiltshire now, so we're not far from Andover. Heading to our stop for tonight. Peter's something, is it, Ray? Where Where we stopping tonight? Peter's. Peter's Field. Peter's Field staying tonight. And then we're on to Dartford tomorrow. So yeah, but Purvis are knackered. It's been a lot tougher today than what we thought because we had to extend it, extend the ride because uh, we didn't get to Land's End yesterday. I mean, so we rode there today. Pretty bad. Um, the weather was atrociously even. But then, as you, as you saw in the video, we got actually a lot better. <laughs> it just got worse and worse as the day went on. It's dry at the moment, thank goodness, but uh, we've gone through some torrential, uh, horrendous rainstorms, in fact. I won't say torrential, I'll say horrendous. Uh, but as you can see, he is, uh, bless him, at his age, he's feeling it. I'm sure you can see that if I zoom in. He's been a bit argumentative today. Uh, can't do wrong for doing rice. <laughs> and he's still got his finger out. <laughs> Yeah. Are you dead? No, I'll say that as a no, then he's got two. Oh. But, uh... <laughs> I've killed him. <laughs> yeah. You should rest your mouth and all. We've got 65 miles left to go. Have we? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. The bikes are uh, doing the damn side bloody better than what we are, I tell you. Uh, yeah. Seems a, seems a long time since we were in Wales. Only a couple of days. And then once we've tackled this, we're then heading up north towards Scotland. So on this trip, we are going to... Uh, going to be done Land's End, and we are doing John O'Groats. So, um, should be interesting this round. So anyway, I'm going to check out for now. Get to our hotel.